Hi, so I don't really want to turn this into a politics channel, but since this doesn't just have to do with politics, I figured I would discuss it. I'm sick and tired of turning on the TV. Should I even call it a TV? Because it's, kind of, it's, it's technically a computer monitor that's attached to the internet. So every time I turn on my computer monitor and I look for news, I'll, you'll see these misleading titles. And it'll say, interview with such and such. Interview with such and such. Debate with such and such. And it'll say, interview. And an interview, to me, is when you talk, I listen. I talk, then you listen. We take turns doing that. That is an interview. That's a debate. Where, uh, yet, what they think it is on these news stations is, I'm going to talk and then you're gonna talk, and then I'm gonna talk over you talking, and I'm gonna talk louder so that I win. That's not an interview, that's not a debate, that is just two people engaging in a verbal dick-waving contest, and you get nothing out of that. And when I'll scroll down to the comments, what would drive me even crazier is that I'll read the comments, and people will actually think that the person that did the more interrupting is the victor. The person that talked over the other person is, must be the one that's right. Oh, wow, she owned him, he owned her because he was talking over her? I don't understand. See, the way I see the world is that if I have an argument that's a good argument, I can wait for you to finish yours. If I believe that I'm correct, if I believe I'm gonna win the argument, if I believe in, in the context, in the, the content of what I'm saying, rather than just the, the, um, the showmanship of it, I'll let you finish what you had to say. The moment that I don't allow you to finish what you're saying, what I'm portraying to the world is that I'm insecure. I know that my argument is shit, so I can't let you present your counter-argument because my argument is shit. Or it makes me seem like I'm on this high horse where I can't let you speak because you're fucking beneath me. You're so beneath me that I'm not gonna let you speak, which is, makes me a douchebag that none of you probably are gonna wanna listen to. So I'm either gonna assume that you're insecure or a douchebag, or both. That's all I can get out of what, I, you know, what you're telling me when you don't allow the other individual to speak. And I don't understand how we as a society decided that in any one of these arguments or interviews that we're just gonna automatically agree with the person that didn't allow the other person to speak. We're automatically going to agree with the individual who is not allowing somebody else to voice their opinion or concern. That's silly and that's stupid and I'm sick and tired of watching it. The way that I deal with this in my own life, whether it's in a, in a relationship, in a... Kitty? Hi, Clinton. My cat's name is Clinton. Come here, boy. Want to speak? Are you interrupting me? You're interrupting me. I was speaking. He's an asshole. What an asshole of a cat. <laughs> ah, fuck, where was I? Ah, I don't want to edit this, damn it. I'm just going to sit here and think because I really don't want to load up the editor. I want to go to the gym after this and I want to upload this before I go to the gym, which means not editing. Editing is such a pain in the ass. What was I just talking about? Ah, how I deal with this, anyway. Yeah, that's not enough that I need to edit. The way I deal with this is I just, I, I'll just leave. And it's not, I don't have a temper tantrum. I don't huff and puff. I don't bang my fist and go, I just, I just walk away. I stop dealing with it. I hang up on the person. I, I leave the room, whether it's a relationship uh, and, um, you know, a business arrangement, uh, a coworker, a boss, an employee, a friend, uh, and a family member. If you, if I, if I let you speak, I let you finish your sentence, I, st I commence my sentence, and without good reason, you cut me off mid-sentence, we're done. There's no more discussion. I'm not, I, I just, I don't have time for that shit. And it's not, it's not out of wanting to have a temper tantrum. It's not out of wah, wah. It's just out of pure logistics. I don't understand how to have a conversation when one person doesn't allow the other person to speak. If I have the courtesy to allow you to vo voice your full opinion and argument, then you can give me that same courtesy. If you don't want to give me the courtesy that I've given you, that's fine. Then, 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 then go away. It's, 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 it's that simple. But you can't have a conversation with somebody that will not let you speak. And I don't feel that we should tolerate individuals that attempt to interrupt us in the middle of a sentence when there isn't a good reason. Again, if you're interrupting me in the middle of a sentence to yell, fire! Or, you know, I, or I'm saying, uh, like, you know, fuck this asshole, and that asshole just so happens to be behind me. You're like, hey! Fine. I get it. But... In, in, the, in the, the, the way I'm talking about, again, when you see these news articles, these debates, these interviews, where they're, and the, the, honestly, you know, you know what, 
You know, you know a really good popular example recently, and I hate to use it because I actually kind of like the guy. He seems like a nice guy from the discussions I've had with him. The H3H3 Productions interview with Joey Salads. So I, I, I think Joey Salads is so, I knew every single thing he did was a social experiment from the first fucking view in the video, that it was a joke, that it was rigged, that it was as rigged as Donald Trump thinks the election is. You know, it's, it, I, I knew that it was all, all those videos were bullshit, right? I, there, was, there was no question in my mind. And I agree with H3H3 calling this guy out, and, and, and I hate even, uh, just using these names, just, it, 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 it yeah, I don't, like, I, I mean, I really shouldn't remember this stuff. Like, there's so many better things in the world to keep in my brain. This is shameful. But anyway, I, I, wound, up, I wound up watching one of these stupid fucking Joey Salads videos because it was recommended to me after a video that I was watching of something else in politics. And he got called out in his bullshit, and I started to watch some of this interview. And I'm noticing it's not much of an interview. It's like, Joey Salads, don't get me wrong. Stupid, stupid fucking guy. Stupid, would not care if, you know, would not care if he was walking down the street in a car just so happened to him. Kind of person. I, I, I don't hate him, but I just, I do not care for him one bit. He's, he's just, no. Very stupid guy, and he's saying what he wants to say. And then the other guy in the interview, in the interview, just goes ahead and interrupts him. Just interrupts him in the middle of it. And, and this pissed me off because by, because as much, because like, you don't have, you don't have to interrupt. You can simply let Joey Salad speak, and he will hang himself by his own words. All you have to do is let, let him speak, and there's nothing else that you have to do. Just let him flesh out his sentence, and then at the end of his sentence, you can say what you have to say. It's not, you don't have to interrupt him to make him seem stupid. You don't have to interrupt him to make him seem petty. You don't have to interrupt him to make him seem like somebody who just simply wants to take advantage. It's all out there. You, 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 can, you can chime in your point at the end if it's even necessary because he will hang himself by his own words. And I'm listening to this and it's like, this is not an interview. And you compare it with the interviews that let's say Eli the computer guy does. Not that I agree with everything Eli says, but you, it's like when Eli does an interview, he, he speaks, he lets the other person speak. Then when they're done speaking, he speaks again. And it seems like, I mean, that's the way interviews are supposed to be done, but it doesn't seem like anybody actually understands that. When you interview somebody, you let them speak. Like when I interviewed Michael Carvin, when I had that interview with Michael Carvin, I asked a question or said something, then he spoke. When he was done speaking, then I would say something. When I was done saying something, he would say something. Why is this such a difficult concept to understand? Like even another example, this is something that was recommended while I was, I really got to stop watching YouTube recommended videos because I wonder how much of my life I'm wasting just like letting autoplay stay on. I'm going to turn that off when I'm done with this video, I promise. But there's this video like Larry Ellison destroys questioner. And there was a comment in that video. It said something like, you don't destroy anybody by interrupting. And I agree. Because the thing is, I didn't even understand the context of what Larry was talking about because I never got to understand the full question. So maybe you can call me an idiot for not understanding the context. Maybe you can call me an idiot for not understanding Oracle's politics. But just from listening to that and seeing how many times he cut the guy off, Larry Ellison could have been 110% correct. For me, as a third party just watching that is not really involved with much of what Oracle is doing, I just think Larry Ellison's a pompous jackass. He may be correct. I, I'll never know. I never bothered to listen to the whole fucking video. I had X and turned it off because that was not a conversation. And I would suggest that we start to act in a similar fashion. Let's not allow others to degrade us by continuing to you know, have a conversation when they don't let us speak. And let's stop assuming that the winner of a debate, the winner you know, or the person who's correct in an interview is the one who does not let the other person speak. I'm not saying that we should defend Joey Salads. I'm not saying that we should start to say that he is exactly the, the uh, uh, a role model for, for young people. It's just that, it's that, like, if we're at the point when somebody as stupid and guilty as Joey Salads, need, we, uh, how do I put this? If, if we're at a point where we think that we need to interrupt somebody as stupid and guilty as Joey Salads, because if we don't interrupt, we won't get the point across, then something is seriously wrong here. Because, like, that guy is, like... And, like, you, all you have to do with a lot of these individuals that we're interrupting, just let them speak, let them hang themselves by their own words, and then you're done. And another uh, benefit that I don't think a lot of people think about when, when they're interrupting is that, A, they may say something that's so dumb that, that, that you'll be able to respond to. But they, uh, 
I really got to get my breakfast. They're, they're going to say something really stupid that you may have interrupted them before they had a chance to say that you'll get to respond to. You also get extra thinking time to respond to whatever it is they had to say if you don't interrupt them. So you may think what you have to say right now is just the best thing in the world, and I know this better than a lot of people. You may think that what you have to say right now is like this genius, amazing thing that everybody's going to think is amazing. And then it may only take five seconds of thought to realize that was a stupid fucking thing to say. And when you give yourself that five to ten seconds when you, while you're allowing somebody to finish their sentence, that five to ten seconds of thought is all you need to stop yourself from saying something incredibly stupid. Because you may think that what you have to say right now is the best shit in the world, but it only takes ten seconds of thought to realize that will not pass the test of time. And it's why I think people should just stop interrupting and we should stop praising people that we see on the news that interrupt people. Like, I'm tired of scrolling down to the comment section of these articles and going, wow. He really destroyed that guy. He really owned that. No, he didn't. All he did is not allow him to speak. And we wouldn't get, you know, no, nobody would, dis we wouldn't allow ourselves to enter a boxing match where somebody decided to tie our hands together with a rope. So I don't understand why we allow ourselves to enter conversations, debates, or discussions where somebody else doesn't allow us to speak.